uh, today I was trying to fix my computer and uh, I've got this message and uh, I've looked everywhere and I couldn't find the answer that fixed it I found another one who fixed it with somebody else but not mine mine is a bit different so I'm gonna put it here both of them so what are you gonna need you're gonna need uh, your boot, your CD from the, in my case, was the Windows Vista. Or, if you don't have the CD, what do you have to do? You have to download it. You can download it for free, uh, recovery, recovery CD from uh, a torrent, so as I did, just to see if it works, if I do this tutorial. And that's it. So, after that, you're gonna put it in your computer. And you're gonna come to that screen, okay? It's better than the, the first one, so let's show you what to do. You're gonna click next, you're gonna go there, repair your computer. If you go repair your computer, it doesn't work anyway, so you have to do as I say. Um, for many people, like right here, because I fix it gonna show you here Microsoft Windows Vista if that's your case you're gonna follow this now okay you're gonna go to load drivers click OK come in my computer uh, you're gonna go there and see properties and I'm gonna show you because it's behind this thing always. I don't know why. Uh, with one hand, it's difficult to move these things around. Okay, that's it. Okay, in my case, no, in this case, if you, you see here, you see two ticks. If you are checked right here, so what you have to do, we have to uncheck it, compress this driver, blah blah blah, and push apply. And okay, if this is your case, your computer is gonna run normally. All right, next case that was mine. Let's close this thing. Blah. In my computer, wasn't showing this one. It was blank, empty, nothing. So what I have to do? Click next. Go to the command prompt. Right here, you're gonna write. Disk. <coughs> Part. Enter. Okay, you're going to this part. Now you're gonna select. Space disk zero. Normal disk zero is the computer C. Okay, you're gonna see disk zero is now selected. Now you're gonna do what you're gonna do list partition uh, list space. Partition. Okay. Mm, no wait. I have a misspell over there. Let me fix it. Uh, this one. Uh, oops. It's difficult to do with one hand on. Partition. Okay. All right. Now we have partition one and partition two. What are you going to do? You're going to the big one. So size 13 gigs. Normal is the C one. The one who has your, your operation system. So what you're going to do? You're gonna select space 
Tischchen. Let me see if it has space or not. No. Let me see if it has space. Okay, select partition 1. And, okay. Partition 1 is selected. What you're going to do now is write this one. Active. And the partition 1 the one that has your operation system will be active after that close it restart your computer and will be perfectly working I hope that helps anyone because it was difficult for me to find answer for that uh, I don't want to go to home CD, let's take it out. Alright. Uh, because we had a problem, see. Start some news normally. Alright. Anyway, I hope that helps anyone there. And. Any question, just ask, but I think it's everything there. That's a huge problem. It burned my head for a long time. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye. That's it, that's it, Windows. <laughs> It's difficult to find it.